There is no question that much of the Earth is left unexplored. Many things have been buried by time, and we have a lot to discover. Most are hidden in the Alps and mountains several thousands of feet above sea level. From the strange blue people to 4,000-year-old artifacts, here are 20 mysterious things found in the mountains. Number 20. The Blue People Imagine walking uphill and suddenly seeing several people with blue skin. Wouldn't that be incredibly surprising? Now you're probably thinking, blue skin? Are there people like that? Well, meet the Fugate family, a bizarre family that lived in the secluded hills of eastern Kentucky for nearly two centuries. Believe me, even the locals living nearby were taken aback when they stumbled upon one of these infamous blue people. The story of the Fugates first gained public attention in 1975. Benjamin Benji Stacy came into the world, but he didn't come out with the typical rosy complexion like most babies do. His skin was born with a shocking blue color. The doctors and nurses attending his birth were utterly baffled and called for an ambulance to whisk Benji away to the University of Kentucky Medical Center for answers. But why did Benji and others in his family carry this azure hue? Well, it all goes back to a French orphan named Martin Fugate, who settled in Troublesome Creek in the early 1800s. He married a woman named Elizabeth Smith, whose skin was as pale as the delicate mountain laurel flowers that bloom in the spring. Little did they know that they both carried a recessive gene, which caused four out of their seven children to be born with blue skin. In those days, the region was isolated, with no roads or railroads until the early 1910s. Consequently, many Fugates married within their own bloodline, amplifying the expression of the blue skin gene. This genetic isolation led to the continued reproduction of the Fugate family's unique trait over the next hundred years. At first, the folks in Troublesome Creek accepted them, but by the 1960s, some blue Fugates began to resent their distinctive skin color. It made them stand out and drew associations with their history of inbreeding. And so, the family began trying to search for a cure, which ironically was to intake a pill containing methylene blue dye. Ironically, more blue cancelled out the blood's blue color. As long as they regularly took the pills containing methylene blue, these blue folks of Kentucky could live life just like anyone else. Number 19. Incan Suspension Bridge The Incas, hailing from the rugged Andes Mountains of South America, were undeniably one of the most remarkable civilizations ever to grace our planet. Their legacy continues to leave us in awe to this day. One of the most incredible things they left behind can be found after four hours of driving up the treacherous roads of South America. High in the southern Andes in Peru is the Keswachaca Rope Suspension Bridge, a structure built over the Keiwe Gorge hundreds of years ago. Today, a restored rope bridge connects the Urumbamba River southeast of Cusco in the Pongo de Menique. Each year, the locals weave grass to make a new bridge and treat it as a major event. It's no easy task to restore an Incan rope bridge, so just think about how hard it was for the Inca civilization to create this structure hundreds of years ago amid the constant seismic activity in the area and bad weather. Number 18. Ancient Reindeer Hunting Tools Back in 2018, something truly remarkable happened as the glaciers of Norway slowly melted away. Hidden within the icy embrace of Sandgrufskardet Mountain Peak, Archaeologists stumbled upon a treasure trove of artifacts that had been buried for 1,700 years. These were the tools of reindeer hunters. What made them truly astonishing was their impeccable preservation, with their iron arrowheads remaining intact despite the passage of centuries. Dating back to 300 to 600 CE, these arrows spoke volumes about the hunting skills of our ancient ancestors. One particular arrowhead found in Sandgrove Skardet was an incredibly rare type never before seen in the ice or even in lowland graves. But it wasn't just weapons that the researchers stumbled upon. They also came across hunting blinds. Ancient hunters used these ingenious half-circle structures made of rocks to conceal themselves while hunting deer. You see, unlike our modern hunting gear, ancient arrows and spears had limited range and effectiveness, allowing hunters to strike their targets only within a distance of 32 to 65 feet. That's where these clever hunting blinds came into play, ensuring the hunters could approach their prey unnoticed and take their shot. It's fascinating to think about the lengths ancient hunters would go to pursue their quarry, scaling mountains as high as 6,234 feet just to find deer is quite the feat. 
And who knows? As the ice melts in the Alps, perhaps more ancient treasures and tools will be unveiled, providing further insight into our distant past. Number 17. 1,200-year-old Viking Sword In the breathtaking landscape of Norway's Haukeli region, a hiker named Goran Olsen made a remarkable discovery that would leave anyone in awe. While taking a break from his hike, Goran's keen eyes caught sight of something extraordinary, an incredibly well-preserved Viking sword, possibly over 1,200 years old. Resting amidst the rugged rocks, this Viking sword, crafted from wrought iron, stretched over 30 inches long. However, one element added an air of mystery to its story. The sword was missing its original handle. Was it once part of a burial site, carefully placed to accompany its owner in the afterlife? Or did it belong to a daring adventurer who met an unfortunate fate, losing their prized possession along the way? During those times, crafting a sword was a laborious process, making them highly valuable symbols of status and power. This suggests that the sword belonged to a notable figure around 750 or 800 AD, marking the beginning of the Viking Age. Number 16. Man Left for Dead Twice in the Mountains in the challenging realm of Mount Everest, where nature can be unforgiving, one climber withstood the test of time and made it out alive. Beck Weathers is a determined American climber that braved the challenges of Mount Everest. Beck has embarked on his journey, led by experienced mountaineer Rob Hall, filled with hope and determination. As they neared the summit and night fell, Beck's vision became impaired due to recent eye surgery and the harsh mountain conditions. Rob Hall, prioritizing the team's safety, instructed Beck to stay put while he and others continued their ascent. Although reluctant, Beck complied. Sadly, Rob Hall lost his life higher up in the mountain, staying with a team member who couldn't go on. Meanwhile, Beck waited, unaware of the impending storm that would engulf them. After grueling hours of waiting, Mike Groom, another team leader, found Weathers, and for a short time, he was safe but a strong gust of wind knocked him backward into the snow, and he was, for the second time, lost forever. He was left by his team, who presumed he was beyond saving. Rescuers and those who made it down the mountain alerted Weathers' wife of his death, so imagine how flabbergasted they were when they saw Weathers alive. Surprisingly, against all odds, Weathers awoke after slipping into a hypothermic coma and descended the mountain. You can say that this guy successfully cheated death itself, twice. Number 15. 2,500 year old ruins of the Cloud People. Nestled in the picturesque village of Santa Cruz Weiwe Piazla, Mexico, lies the enchanting Cerro de Peña Mountain, reaching an impressive height of 6,000 feet. Once a beautiful landmark in its own right, this mountain has become even more intriguing as locals stumbled upon ancient Zapotec ruins and carvings offering a window into a civilization that existed 2,500 years ago. The discovery comprises two remarkable pre-Hispanic stone monuments intricately carved into the mountain's summit. Constructed by the Zapotecs, an ancient civilization commonly referred to as the Cloud People thrived in the southern hills of Mexico long before the Spanish conquest. This mountaintop sanctuary was once a hub of ceremonial activities. It boasted a games court, a seven-step pyramid, and an area dedicated to rituals. Experts believe that these hidden treasures, dormant since the 6th century, have the potential to provide fresh insights into the history and culture of Mesoamerica, a time before the fateful arrival of the conquistadors. This region of Mexico has long been celebrated for its wealth of ancient ruins and archaeological marvels, and the Cerro de Peña site is now poised to contribute to this rich tapestry of knowledge. Stepping into this site is like being transported back to more than 2,000 years ago when the first civilizations in America flourished. Number 14. Ancient Roman Shrine In 2020, archaeologists stumbled upon a breathtaking discovery in the Swiss Alps. It all started when a hiker stumbled upon a glimmering Roman coin on the ground. Archaeologists then set out to discover more about the area, and it was worth it. Hidden in the heart of the Swiss Alps, nestled between the Amertenhorn and Wildstrubel Mountains, is an ancient Roman shrine filled with Roman artifacts. Over a hundred coins, 27 dazzling rock crystals, 59 Roman shoe nails, a unique brooch, and even a fragmented votive plaque shaped like a delicate leaf was discovered at the site. It's like stumbling upon a real-life treasure trove. As the archaeologists pieced together the puzzle, they realized that the area might have been a sacred spot for the Romans 
a place to worship the mountain gods. The location itself nestled in the plateau between these majestic peaks, coupled with the sheer number of coins and artifacts, hinted at a place where ancient people sought to worship and connect with the deities of the mountains. The coins discovered date back to a fascinating time, spanning from the 1st century CE to the 5th century CE, aligning perfectly with the rise and fall of the mighty Roman Empire. Can you imagine the stories these coins could tell if they could speak? But what makes this discovery even more intriguing is the presence of abundant rock crystals in the vicinity. Archaeologists suspect that the ancient Romans were drawn to this site not only for its awe-inspiring location, but also for the mystical allure of these shimmering crystals. It was believed that by offering these precious treasures to the gods, worshippers could establish a connection, seek their favor, express gratitude, or even make a heartfelt wish. Number 13. Lost Capital of Ancient Empire Experts discovered a long-forgotten empire in the lush jungles of modern-day Cambodia, and it's all thanks to modern technology. The lush jungles of modern-day Cambodia, thick with vegetation, have long concealed the remnants of this ancient civilization. Between 2012 and 2015, aerial surveys equipped with laser-scanning magic, known as LIDAR, have brought this forgotten city back to life. Hovering over the magnificent Phnom Kulin Mountain, which had long been suspected as the seat of the Khmer Empire, these surveys created a virtual time machine, mapping the sprawling city with incredible precision. It's like peering through a mystical veil and witnessing a city frozen in time. The LiDAR's measurements of distance revealed archaeological features that had remained unseen for centuries, such as mounds, walls, roads, and canals. And here's the mind-blowing part. When researchers ventured onto the ground to investigate further, they confirmed the accuracy of the LiDAR's findings. It appears that this ambitious city, although technologically advanced, met its downfall due to the inability to sustain an irrigated agricultural system. It seems the empire had to seek greener pastures, quite literally, and relocated its capital to the famed city of Angkor, where the conditions favored their flooded rice field irrigation system. As the LiDAR scans unveil the secrets of this ancient urban marvel, we marvel at the city's grand design that showcases the remarkable ability of ancient civilizations. Number 12. The Dyatlov Pass Incident In February 1959, nine hikers vanished in the Ural Mountains, leaving behind a baffling scene that remains a mystery to this day. Led by student Mikhail Sharavin, a search party discovered a tent buried in snow, filled with abandoned supplies like a flask of vodka and a plate of salo. The tent had been slashed open and the footprints led away, indicating a hasty escape. Over the following months, the hikers' bodies were found, some with bizarre injuries, including fractured skulls and missing body parts. Official investigations pointed to an avalanche or poor visibility as the cause of their deaths, but these explanations failed to satisfy the public's curiosity. Various theories have emerged, from military cover-ups and encounters with UFOs to clashes with indigenous tribes and radiation fallout. Despite ongoing speculation, the truth behind the Dyatlov Pass incident remains elusive. This chilling mystery continues to capture our imagination, inviting us to delve into its secrets and uncover the truth. Will we ever unravel the enigma of that fateful night in the Ural Mountains? Only time will tell. Number 11. The Grey Man The Grey Man, also known as the Fear Leia, is a creature that's been spotted on the formidable mountains of Scotland. This enigmatic being has often been compared to the famous Bigfoot of American folklore, earning it a special place in the realm of mythical creatures. Initially, the Fear Leia was regarded as an ominous presence, believed to bring doom and instill fear in those who encountered it on Ben McDwee Mountain. Although glimpses of this creature were rare, witnesses described it as a shadowy, gigantic figure, adding to its mysterious, ethereal nature. Beyond the realm of cryptozoology, Various theories about the Fear Lay exist. Some believe it to be a ghost or a malevolent spirit, while others entertain the possibility of it being an extraterrestrial entity or a guardian of an interdimensional portal. In the scientific community, a different perspective emerges. Scientists propose that the Fear Lay may be an optical illusion created by atmospheric conditions at high altitudes. These conditions can project shadows onto mist or the sky, forming eerie phantoms that deceive the senses. Interestingly, sightings of the Fear Lay have also been reported, although less frequently, in the forests near Aberdeen. This aligns with other theories of it being an ape-like cryptid. 
So whether you believe in the existence of the fear lay as a flesh and blood creature, or consider it a product of folklore and atmospheric tricks, just be careful when exploring the mountains. Number 10. The Berwyn UFO Incident On the night of January 23, 1974, something extraordinary happened in the Berwyn Mountains of Wales. People witnessed a bright light in the sky and heard a thunderous boom. Cue the UFO enthusiast claiming it was an alien spacecraft crash. Now investigations revealed that this spectacle was actually a mix of two things, an earthquake and a dazzling meteor. The earthquake, measuring 3.5 on the Richter scale, shook northern Wales and reached as far as Formby in England. If it were a plane crash, the resulting crater would have been impossible to miss. As for those mysterious lights, they could be explained by earthquake lights, a phenomenon that adds an eerie glow to the tremors. So the next time you explore the mountains, keep your eyes on the skies from time to time. Who knows? You might be one of the witnesses to another UFO incident or a meteorological incident. Number 9. Valley of the Headless Men Deep within the remote northwest territories of Canada lies the Nahani Valley. This rugged paradise, nestled over 311 miles from the nearest city, is a land of untamed beauty and ancient mysteries. The Nahani Valley has endured among mankind's ever-expanding presence, preserving its secrets with its rugged and unforgiving landscape. This place tests even the most seasoned explorers, where survival is near guaranteed. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978, yet, despite this distinction, it remains largely untouched by modern civilization. Timberwolves and grizzly bears rule this untamed land, and so do horrifying legends. Among the mysteries that shroud the Nahani Valley, one location stands out, the infamous 200-mile gorge, known as the Valley of the Headless Men. The valley's chilling moniker traces back to the early 20th century during the Klondike Gold Rush. The mysterious disappearance of the McLeod brothers, whose headless skeletons were later discovered, ignited rumors and theories. Another gruesome discovery followed in 1917, when the burned-down cabin of Swiss prospector Martin Jorgensen was found alongside his decapitated remains. These unsettling events fueled wild speculations, including feuding prospectors, or even the Naha tribe being responsible for the macabre deaths. To this day, however, it's still unclear whether these men were really victims of a ruthless tribe or something else. Number 8. Reverse Waterfall Nanagat, a hidden gem nestled in the western Ghats of Maharashtra, is a mysterious place that remains relatively unknown to the public. One of its intriguing features is a waterfall that defies gravity by flowing in reverse. How does this mind-boggling phenomenon occur? Well, it's all thanks to the mighty force of the winds that push the cascading waters upwards. It's incredibly trippy to look at. This enchanting location has a rich history. It served as a trade route during the reign of Chhatrapati Shivaji, and ancient caves and rock-cut pots bear witness to the bygone era. Exploring the historical aspects of Nanagat adds an extra layer of intrigue that makes the trek even more captivating. Number 7. Glowworm Caves In 1887, an English surveyor named Fred Mace teamed up with Maori chief Tane Tanaro for a daring exploration of the Waitomo Caves in New Zealand. There, they stumbled upon a breathtaking cave filled with thousands of glowworms, making the entire cave formation look like a sea of stars. Legend has it that these caves have existed for more than 30 million years, originating as limestone formations at the bottom of the ocean. Over time, Erosion and transformation have given birth to these underground wonders. Number 6. Dinosaur Eggs In the mountainous region of Chechnya, a republic in Russia, a group of explorers stumbled upon a remarkable treasure, an incredible batch of fossilized dinosaur eggs. These ancient relics, numbering around 40, are believed to be approximately 60 million years old and were laid by plant-eating dinosaurs. The eggs were allegedly discovered by archaeologists who stumbled upon them while studying the ecosystem in the area. Each discovery relating to dinosaurs tells us something new, but we know a lot about these extinct creatures already. That's why many were skeptical about the authenticity of these alleged eggs. To this day, opinions about these alleged dino eggs vary. Number 5. Hanging Coffins Imagine hiking along the mountain trail when you suddenly see coffins perched high on the mountainside. This might be something unusual for you, but
but it's a custom and a historical site in the mountainous region of the Philippines. This remarkable display is part of a unique burial tradition practiced by the people of Sagata. For over 2,000 years, the elders in the community have been crafting their coffins out of hollowed logs. In cases where the elderly are too weak or ill, their families take up the responsibility. The deceased are delicately placed inside these handmade coffins, sometimes requiring the repositioning of bones to ensure a proper fit. But here's the twist. Instead of burying the coffins in the ground, they're hung inside caves or on the cliffs alongside the resting places of their ancestors. The belief is that by placing the coffins in such elevated locations, the deceased will be closer to heaven and their spirits will be protected from earthly disturbances. This may sound like a creepy practice to some, but it's a sacred and ancient tradition that carries a profound spiritual significance for the people of Sagada. Passed down through generations, it serves as a testament to their deep reverence and connection with their ancestors, keeping their memory and legacy alive for generations to come. Number 4. Ancient Pipes Atop the majestic Mount Baigong in China's Qihai province stands a peculiar pyramid-like structure. Inside this impressive tower, Hidden away in its mysterious caves are several ancient metal pipes. And guess what? They're not just randomly strewn around. They're perfectly symmetrical and firmly lodged in the rock as if someone had a master plan. But who? Now here's where things take a wild turn. These time-worn tubes, ranging from delicate needle-sized ones to whopping 16-inch monsters, extend all the way to a nearby saltwater lake. It's like a surreal plumbing system, but the real mystery lies in their origin. Experts are scratching their heads, and it doesn't help that what makes up the entirety of the pipes can't be figured out by experts. About 8% of the material could not be identified by scientists. Some claim that these alleged tubes are an ancient plumbing system installed on the mountains hundreds or even thousands of years ago by extraterrestrial visitors. Others also claim that perhaps the bygone pipes were created by an ancient civilization that lived in the area. However, Others suggest that these mind-bending pipes could be fossilized casts of tree roots, reminiscent of similar findings in Louisiana, which is now the most accepted theory. Whatever the case, the bygone pipes will forever remain an intriguing and mysterious find. Number 3. The Man Who Carved a Road Through a Mountain Have you ever thought about your purpose in life? As a kid, you probably thought you'd do something great that would change the world, but as an adult, the fire in you to do something so grand might have burned out. Well, this man probably didn't even think about what he had wanted to accomplish in his lifetime, but his perseverance, commitment, and patience allowed him to do something incredible. Dashrath Manji, known as the Mountain Man, is a man whose determination and hard work made a lasting impact in India. Born into a lower caste in 1929, life wasn't easy for him. As a day laborer, he struggled to make ends meet. In 1959, Tragedy struck when his wife fell from a cliff near the village in Gellar Hills. With the nearest clinic miles away, he couldn't save her. This heartbreaking incident inspired Manji to take action. He decided to carve a path through the treacherous mountains that had long isolated his community from essential services. For the next 22 years, armed with only a chisel, he tirelessly worked to create a pathway. Despite facing challenges and criticisms, he remained dedicated to his mission. Finally, in 1982, he completed a 360-foot path that not only made transportation easier, but also brought safety to the region. Thanks to Manji's extraordinary effort, villagers no longer had to endure a 35-mile journey. The new path reduced their commute to about 10 miles, providing them with easier access to neighboring communities and a better quality of life. To this day, Dashrath Manji's legacy lives on even though he passed away in 2007. Number 2. Child Sacrifices Discovered in the Mountains 500 years ago, high atop the Argentinian volcano Uyayaco, three Incan children met a tragic fate as they were sacrificed in a ritual. The icy temperature in the mountains preserved the bodies of these unfortunate children, allowing scientists to study them and get a glimpse of their last moments. Recent research suggests that in the months leading up to their untimely deaths, these children were administered drugs and alcohol to make them more compliant. Analysis of hair samples from the mummies revealed that coca leaves, from which coca is derived, and alcoholic beverages were consistently consumed by all three children. For us, 
Human sacrifice is an inhumane practice, but for this civilization, being selected for the ritual was a great honor, a ceremony that should be met with grace. However, it's most likely that this was never the case. As further research unfolds, these mummies hold the potential to shed more light on the complex society and ritual practices of the Inca civilization. And now it's time for today's topic. Man finds plane hidden in mountains, but when he looks inside, the haunting wreckage of the aircraft revealed a scene frozen in time, telling a story of tragedy and mystery. With the twisted metal and shattered windows, one could imagine the fateful moments leading to the plane crash. The man, who only planned on hiking the trail, immediately alerted the authorities, but not before curiously checking what was inside the wreck. There, he found a diary carefully preserved within the debris. Its last sentences ended abruptly, just like the life of its owner, who undoubtedly perished in the wreck. Unfortunately, the diary's owner was never identified, and the wreckage remains where it is to this day, serving as a haunting reminder of a painful disaster that claimed the lives of dozens of innocent people. If you stumbled upon a similar wreck, would you have the courage to take a look at what's inside? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. 4,000-year-old weapons and a lunchbox Deep within the breathtaking Bernese Alps in Switzerland, archaeologists have unearthed an extraordinary treasure, a collection of artifacts belonging to someone who lived over 4,000 years ago. Imagine the thrill of discovering fragments of a bow, arrows, and a wooden food container that once belonged to these ancient inhabitants. Hidden within a rock shelter near the icy peak at a staggering elevation of around 8,800 feet, these artifacts provide a fascinating glimpse into the lives of Bronze Age hunters and herders. This incredible find confirms that the pass through the Bernese Alps was a vital route used by our ancestors for centuries. A lot more interesting artifacts may be discovered in this place in the future. So which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. If you have any exciting hiking experiences, feel free to share those as well. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.